Hello, welcome back again. Last time we looked at access where we created the tables and um, created the relationship between those tables. Then uh, we also populated some tables. We now want to start from there and look at more of access, uh, putting uh, other objects uh, besides creating uh, tables. Um, so now let's start access, click start access, then this is our database that we created, we called it school, you click school, then uh, when you click school, yeah, um, fortunately I think I created these objects, but uh, uh, allow me uh, to recreate these objects, now I can delete this uh, that one I'm deleting a query I'm also deleting another query yes it is possible to delete these objects uh, let me also delete uh, the form for department also delete that form so that we can start afresh but as you try to delete they will ask you whether you want to permanently delete that object so let's go back to where we stopped. We have department table, we have student table and teacher table. And then we create a relationship. You go to database tools, click relationship, and then you can be able to see the relationships that you created. And um, so the relationships we have department, one department, many teachers, one department, many students. So that means that department is the parent table. Um, now we want to uh, continue from there. Let me close this relationship from here. Then I want to create another object, database object, which is uh, queries. What is a query? A query is a question that you ask a database. Information is stored in the database and then you want to know something from the database. So you create uh, a table. I mean you create a query and the easiest way of creating a query, we use a query wizard. So you come here, click query wizard, query wizard, then you are going to create uh, the different types of queries, but then you are going to create a simple query wizard. So you click OK and then uh, uh, they want you which fields do you want in your query you choose you can choose from more than one table or a query you can choose a query uh, fields from another query or uh, from a table now here we have a table department I think let's start by creating a table starting with the table student and these are the fields that are within a student table we can take there student number then we add student name then we add sex date of birth contact payment uh debt paid then the student department that is uh, yes but we can add more on this query we can also go in the department there is department id we don't need department it is already there department ID. <laughs> Students don't get the allowances, so we are not going to indicate that. Then let's go to teacher, uh, teacher ID, teacher name. Maybe you need to know the teacher who is teaching that student. So you click that. Uh, then you want teacher name. Um, maybe you may also want to know the telephone number of the teacher. But already there is a contact that might confuse us. Let's stop here. Uh, then we go next yes would you like a detail or summary query uh, if it is detail it will appear like this if it is a summary query it will appear like that but let's go with detail query then you click next uh -huh. say what title do you want for your query this is a student query you can keep it as a student query or student um, or just general information you can change it to general information about the student that is a query the general information about 
the student. They have used the simulator. Then that's all the information the wizard needs to create your query. Do you want to open the query or modify the query design? You say open the query to view information. Then finish. Yes. So this is the query that we have. And this query that we have, we have student number, student name, gender, date of birth, telephone, fees, and then page and department, then the teacher name. So uh, so we can see we have this student, this is the number, and this student belongs to uh, this department, which is KCS05. Uh, so that is a, a form that we have. Then, um, I mean a query. We can create another query, that is if we want, but we go through the same procedure. You can create a query from a single table. You can create a query from more than one table. Then uh, uh, another object that we can create is a form. And a form, um, we can create a form using a design, we can get a blank form, you can use a form wizard. Let's use form wizard. So you go to form wizard. And then again, we choose which fields do you want on your form. Uh, let me take uh, from your table of department. I want all the fields, so I click these double arrows. And then I get all of them. Then click next. Aha. Uh -huh. Which form do you want? Columna, tabular. Data sheet justified. Let's go with the selected columnina. We go next. Then what title do you want for your form? Uh, maybe department information. Department. Department information. Okay. Then that's all the information the wizard needs to create your form. Do you want to open the form or modify the form design? Then you click finish. So there, that is the form that we have. And this form is indicating uh, the information that is already there. There is record one of the six, so there are six records. Uh, you click there, there is that uh, department history, mathematics department. You keep on clicking that to view the records that are already there and then so that is the last record in case you want to create another department you can again enter that information via a form so a form can enable us update um, maybe we need here another department like uh, maybe Kiswahili Kiswahili department yes uh, Sorry, not the department. The department name, okay, select, cut, paste here. Then get here, it is KCS, maybe 07. So that is the, the department um, that we have created. If you want uh, department allowance, you can change. By default, you would put 50, but you can make it 60. Then we save. Now, that information has already been saved and has gone in the department table. Let's open department table. Department. Yes, you can see the table now has 70 uh, fields. We have entered even Kiswahili. So, um, a form enables us to update data in the table and it also enables us to uh, view the data which is already in the table. Let me close this form, this table. Also close that and close that. Uh -huh. So this is the form. Now we can also uh, get a form which has more than uh, um, one table. So we go to create and then create form wizard. Form wizard department, you know, we now want a student. And the student, we need all the information about the student. Uh, we take, we click this, everything will go. Then uh, maybe we also need information from the teacher. Uh, maybe we need the, the teacher teaching that student, just get teacher name. Uh -huh. 
then we go to that then click next mm -hmm. we still we can still leave it columnar next uh -huh. what title do you want for your form we can say student maybe information uh, student information and then uh, that's all open the form to view the information yes so we are here so this is what we have there is only one record eh? uh, Dawkins uh, that 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 then uh, teacher is Herbert Mukasa you can go next uh, this one is only for viewing because it is not going to allow you to enter because it is from different tables okay? because the information is from different tables it is not going to allow you to enter information in multiple tables so if you want a form which you are going to use to enter information in a single table you get information from a particular table okay so that is the thing that is the only challenge there okay, close this uh, then you go back to create um, then let us also create another we have created a query we have created a form now let us create a report when you're creating a report still we use a report wizard so you click report tables or query uh, you can get maybe uh, a report for all the fields from the department then we go to student maybe we want this time we don't want all of them from there because we already have department so we don't have to repeat the department uh, then we go to teacher teacher maybe we only need teacher name and uh, maybe teacher telephone number uh -huh. we don't need that higher we don't need department because already the department is there so click uh, next then it will ask do you want to add any grouping levels on your whatever um, if you want you can add any grouping level but we can leave it the way it is then you click next then you can sort records up to four fields in either ascending or descending order uh -huh. you want to sort what maybe by department student name then you sort student name in ascending order um that is enough click next then um how would you like to lay out your report tabular portrait uh then you keep it portrait then you click ok what title do you want for your report uh it should be maybe department but remember there is a department there is a student and then there is a, a teacher so uh, our center of focus should be the student the student should be our center of focus student information student information yes then you preview the report yes finish so uh when you finish this is the kind of report that you get so that is uh, uh, where you see this hash hash it means that this was not enough this field was not enough you were supposed to adjust it or reduce uh, what is uh, put there so this is a report it is only for viewing and printing and give it to whoever wants the report so basically those are the four uh objects database objects that can easily be created that is tables queries forms and reports and all these four database objects are created within the same database so when you're told to create a database uh you create it and after you create the tables that is the basic building block of a database then after you can create forms forms you use them to enter data into the tables so that the user does not interact directly with the tables uh, or you can still use the forms to view but uh, the best way of viewing you create queries and then yeah, to give uh, a report you create uh, reports 
So basically, that is uh, an introduction to Microsoft Office Access. And it is all these objects are created within the same database. So when you come and you click close here, you are closing the entire database. And you want to open, you click the start button, then you type SCC, access will come selected, you press enter, and then now it depends on what you want to do. Do you want to open an existing document uh, database or do you want to create a new blank database? To create a new data back, blank database, you click that, then it gives you here, you uh, type the name of uh, the database that you want to uh, create, then you, you browse, you look for where you're going to save your database. Now this one, it is taking us to document. Remember, if you save a, a document and you don't specify where it is saved, by default, it goes uh, in documents. It's up to you to change, you need to save in document, possibly to go on a desktop. Uh, if you want, you can create uh, a new uh, folder that you can, um, a, a new folder where you can be able to save your work okay um, then need to open that folder you double click uh, then so we are saving the desktop inside this folder and the file name is called banker one that is going to be the name of our database and it is here then when you from there you go to create uh, it opens a, a table by default but usually close that table and then start creating your tables from uh, scratch and then we create those tables using a, a table design and then table design you get the field name the data type and then um, here the properties field properties uh, what is going to be the field size is it going to be captioned is it going to be having default value uh, and so on and so forth. Then after creating a table, this field speak a field here that is going to be uniquely identifying a table. A field that does not have to be uh, repeated. Make it a primary key. Okay, then save that table. Continue. You can create as many tables as you can, but within the same database. Each time you complete uh, creating a table, uh, you save it. You can close it, then you go ahead and create another one. You can even have 20 tables within the same database. So don't bother going up here to close that because there you will be closing the um, database. Then after closing your tables, create the relationship between these tables. To get the relationship between the tables, remember I told you there are three types of relationship, one-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many. Access does not model many to many relationships, it models one to one and one to many. If it is a one to one, you use a primary key and connect it with the primary key. If it is one to many, you get a primary key, connect it to a foreign key. And remember, I told you a foreign key is a primary key of a parent table as put in the child table. And when you put a primary key of a parent table in the child table, the period size and the data type must be exactly the same. Then after, you can create a relationship between those tables, then enforce differential integrity to make sure that no parent, I mean no child can exist before the parent. And the moment you enforce differential integrity, you first populate data in the parent table before you can populate in the child table, meaning that it is a, a, a parent who exists first before the child. You can't have a child whose parent is not yet born. Okay, so uh, we can leave it here and then um, we meet again. Thank you.